If you want to make enemies, try to change something. It's a time of great innovation and technological advancement. It's also a time of chaos and conspiracy. These people, Adam, they're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxy soldiers. Corporations have more power than the government. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. In the current digitized world, Trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths, spun by different interests, continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community, afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. After my experiences on the peninsula, I saw things more deeply. I found an order that was full of contradictions. Exploitation by the powerful, a structure that had grown corrupt. But what disillusioned me most was that people took no responsibility for anything, even though they hadn't created anything themselves and they understood nothing. When the masses come across information they agree with, they immediately internalize it. That's how they're controlled. When people feel no sense of responsibility, no matter what the unintended consequences of their actions, that makes very poor use of the net. My revolution is also an act of revenge on such people. It's not the end of the world. You can see it from here.